Good morning, everybody. Thanks for clicking on my video. We got a new machine. Check this girl out. It's big and it's beautiful. We've got a 1977 Dodge Sportsman's Tioga motorhome, 24 foot. Can't wait to hook the boat to it and take it on a big adventure. I could see him. Me and the crew running up to Canada and doing some sturgeon fishing on the Fraser. Wouldn't that be amazing? So I picked this thing up off of the Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I'll be straight with you. It was 500 bucks, and I drove it home too. So check it out. 24 feet. Got a big old hitch on the back, generator plate. Everything works. Green shag carpet. It is straight out of 1977. Oh yeah. A tub or a uh, or as I call it a fish cleaning station. Mm-hmm. Pooper. Little sink. Cool, huh? Your typical old school RV. I have a feeling that this was like that, this copper stuff. Somebody painted it. That's gonna have to go. Carpet's going today. Uh, needs a little vent work. They're all cracked and stuff. And uh, carpet, the the uh, seat pads there I'm gonna have them reupholstered I'm gonna leave the driver's seats though because it kind of they're in really really good shape I mean even the spot where you slide in and out it's not even torn up so it's got a 360 v8 and uh, eight track player the uh, previous owner gave me a bunch of eight track tapes which was cool um, Yeah, it's got 46,533 miles on it. Um, the previous owner also removed some of the uh, ceiling panels here. I went to Home Depot and picked up five new panels. And I'm thinking, by looking at it, I, <laughs> I needed two. <laughs> uh, or three. But, so... This sucker has been glued and stuff, the vent cover. And I got a little bit of rain the other day and I noticed it's leaking in from some of these screw holes. So, but it doesn't leak anywhere else. So uh, I'm gonna fix that today. And we got new vent covers and, uh, and I'm gonna rip up this whole entire vent and, uh, and redo it too. So this is the before video. Uh, we haven't really touched it. The old lady vacuumed and wiped her down and whatnot, and uh, and it kind of stinks. Honestly, it smells it smells like 1977. So we've got storage, storage heater, storage. These are cool, kind of stiff, but they're like a they're like a roll top. So this one doesn't slide into that one. It's it rolls up. It's a roll like a roll top desk. Storage, 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 storage. This thing you could. I mean, there's the tapes. I mean, this is for my elbow back. I'm still twice as distance. This this thing's like huge. Keep all kinds of stuff in there. With the window tint, it's uh, obviously that super cheap Walmart tint because it's turning purple. Probably started out black, but eh, I can see a dog has been scratching at this one. Anyway, the plan for the motorhome, besides obviously towing the boat up to the Fraser River and doing some sturgeon fishing, besides that, uh, it's got an exhaust leak. It's uh, needing a little bit of carburetor work. And I might keep this kind of ugliness but I'm gonna redo the burnt orange 
and uh, and replace the carpet and fix the roof. So besides that, it's got a nice big fridge and freezer that's uh, 110, which kind of sucks, but uh, yeah, no no propane fridge, but, but a, a ge the generator I've got will run it. Um, yeah, all these uh, pull down drapes, they gotta go. They, uh, I think at Walmart they they sell uh, just plain old white ones. I wonder if they have them in anything close to the same size. That'd be cool. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll tear this thing apart and uh, make it halfway modern, and and I'll get back to you. All right, back where we left off. It's been about three weeks since the first little section that you just watched. Um, we've been messing with this thing quite a bit. So outside hasn't changed. We haven't done much there. Um, we've discovered that there were a few leaks on the roof and I got up there and fixed the vents. Let me show you what I'm dealing with here. So all the vents, the lids, the vent covers were destroyed. I got these on Amazon. They were for a newer model. They didn't have anything on Amazon that was cheap at least. These were $13 in some sense. Uh, they didn't have anything for this old stuff. Like 94 is the oldest roof cap, roof vent covers that I could find. Uh, so I cut the hinges off the old ones and put the uh, hinges from the old ones onto the new ones. Piece of cake, couple rivets, done. And uh, a lot of this, uh, I'm gonna call it snow coat or caulking that was on here was all cracked up around around everywhere and you can see that somebody's done some sort of coating but the stuff was coming off so I chipped off all that was loose and went over it with leak stopper roofing tar and uh, of course I made my own flashing around that with some rubber membrane that I had laying around and uh, so I fixed the vents first liquid nail kind of stuff and now I've gone over everything all the seams with uh, roofing tar and that should stop the leak well just fixing the vents alone stopped the leak but I've got this stuff purchased from a friend uh, there's still quite a bit in there it's like more than half a bucket which should be more than what I need uh, I just mixed it up with my own homemade little mixer let me show you that real quick I'm not gonna go buy $25 mixing tip for my screw gun um, so I just took a old half of a golf club I had and uh, drilled some holes in it and put some bolts and this stuff is pretty cool it's really rubbery and uh, it should work nicely so that's the roof let me show you what's going on here I'm making a video we tore up all the green shag carpet and did hardwood floor. This is just stuff I had laying around. Clear up underneath the, underneath here. We tore off all that wallpaper, put up this stuff, which is uh, it's kind of like wallpaper, but it's not. It's the stuff that you put on the bottom of your shelves. Uh, it was super cheap, self-adhesive, no gluing. Might last, might not, don't know. It was, it, I mean, the whole thing, This all, all of this caused me like 10 bucks. So, yeah, hardwood floor. Did a quarter round all the way around it. And did a transition here. And a boat carpet, same stuff I use in my boat. Wicked cheap. And then we uh, tore off all the seat cushion covers and bought actual couch fabric. That's expensive, by the way. It's like $160 worth of fabric right here. And uh, reupholstered. I'm gonna call it reupholstered. Okay, so this is this is how I did it. There's a piece of wood in here. Same stuff that I did here. You probably haven't seen this yet either. So, put the new roof paneling in, did some flashing around there. My buddy Bill made that for me and uh, got that all buttoned up and taken care of. And then we redid all the seat cushions and yeah. Got the engine cover off so you can get a look at this guy. This is a Mopar 360. Uh, I rebuilt the carburetor and needs a little bit of fine tuning. 
and uh, I got a carburetor guru himself, Steven, coming over and uh, he's going to put his magic ears on it. Um, I got it close, but it still kind of lags when you give it too much all at once. But other than that, found out it's got a cracked exhaust manifold, typical, and I got a line on some long tube headers for it. So a little more power, a little more fuel economy, and uh, did some sheets. Just uh, took a king size sheet, cut it in half, wrapped it around here, and then did a shoelace stitch with yarn. So I can just cut the yarn, wash them, re yarn it real easy. Lazy way out. I built this. This had that uh, amber transition thing. God, it was hideous. So this is a modern industrial kind of look, I'm going to call it. Just some. Uh, aluminum that was left over from the boat project and diamond plate left over from the rear deck project if you haven't seen that check out the channel bunch of videos on the boat and uh on this side just did a uh, little piece here for your salt and pepper and paprika and lemon pepper and yeah looks good huh so this is where we're at so far and i will make another video here right now